Hey everyone, it's Alex, and I am back with another video preview for the 90th Academy Awards, this time going over the 10 contenders for Best Live Action Short Film. Now, Best Live Action Short Film uh, has a unique set of rules, much like its animated and documentary counterparts, and this is what they have to do in order to be eligible. There's three ways that a live action short film can be eligible. It can be released publicly for paid admission in a movie theater in Los Angeles for at least seven consecutive days. That's the first way. Uh, the second is that it has to have won a qualifying award at a competitive film festival as specified by the Academy's short film qualifying festival list. And the third way is that the film must have won a gold, silver, or bronze medal in the Academy's 2017 Student Academy Awards competition in the animation, narrative, alternative, or foreign film category. And also the qualifying timeline for this category is films released between October 1st, 2016 and September 30th, 2017, and the film had to be submitted to the Academy by 5 p.m. Pacific Time on Monday, October 2nd, 2017. So those are the rules, and according to the Oscar press release, a record 165 films were submitted for this category. What they were, I don't know, because with the short films, the Academy never releases the full list of contenders, but rather just the 10 semi-finalists shortlist. So from these 10 semi-finalists, five of them will become the official Oscar nominees for Best Live Action Short Film. And the 10 contenders are DeKalb Elementary, The Eleven O'Clock, Facing Mecca, Icebox, Lost Face, My Nephew Emmett, Rise of a Star, The Silent Child, Watu Wote, All of Us, Witnesses. So now what I'm going to do, like I've done for all my other short films videos, is I'm going to go over the plot summaries of these films that I've gathered off of IMDb or the websites of the short films themselves, and I'm going to try and predict what the nominees will be based on past trends that I've seen in this category. Because with the short film categories, you never know what's going to be nominated. Alright. <clears throat> DeKalb Elementary. A thrilling moment between two strangers, inspired by a real 911 call placed during a school shooting incident in Atlanta, Georgia. The 11 o'clock. The delusional patient of a psychiatrist believes he is actually the psychiatrist. As they each attempt to treat each other, the session gets out of control. Facing Mecca. The hospital calls for Reed. His wife's situation is critical. The cancer has reached its terminal stage. Pensioner Rowley comes to his help and takes him to see his wife, who passes away shortly after. Her funeral falls under the jurisdiction of Amrakan Council. Farid wants to see his wife buried in accordance with Muslim rites. Roli is keen to help Farid and his daughters, but problems quickly arise. The graves in the local cemetery have not been aligned to face Mecca, and the council is unable to carry out the burial within 24 hours after death. Icebox. Oscar, a young boy from Honduras, is caught crossing the U.S. border and sent to a juvenile immigrant processing facility. The film captures the experience of, of life inside the icebox and a young boy's journey through the U.S. immigration system. Lost Face Subian, Sub, Subi, yeah. Subian Cow is in mortal danger. The fort he and his fellow fur thieves have erected in the snow is in flames attacked by the very tribe they enslaved to build it. Now only he and Big Ivan remain. As Ivan is tortured before him, Subian Kao must think fast to escape the terrible, protracted death that awaits him. My Nephew Emmett At 2.30 a.m. on August 28, 1955, in the most racially divided state in the country, 64-year-old Mose Wright tries to protect his 14-year-old nephew, Emmett Till, from two racist killers out for blood, based on the true story of the 1955 murder of Emmett Lewis Till. Rise of a Star Emma is about to be the new ballerina, 
but something upsets her. A secret. A secret liable to undermine what she has spent a whole life on. Now, most short films don't usually have notable actors or actresses in them, but this one does. Apparently, uh, Oscar-nominated French actress Catherine Deneuve has a role in this film. And there was a short film in this category a couple of years ago called The Vorman Problem, uh, which starred uh, Martin Freeman, uh, best known from t the TV show Sherlock and the Hobbit films. The Silent Child. Set in rural England and inspired by real-life events, The Silent Child centers around a profoundly deaf four-year-old girl named Libby, who was born in into a middle-class family and lives in a world of silence until a caring social worker teaches her the gift of communication. Watu Wote, All of Us. The border region between Kenya and Somalia is considered highly dangerous because of terrorist attacks. An atmosphere of anxiety and mistrust between Muslims and Christians is growing. In December 2015, Muslim bus passengers show that solidarity can prevail. Witnesses. Stefan, a freelance war photographer, is covering the Syrian conflict. She follows the daily existence of a young couple, Farah, a school teacher, and Omar, a doctor. During fighting, Stefan takes a photo of Omar, a photo that could make headlines in the Western media. Omar, convinced that the publication of this photo will, will put his life at risk, asks Stefan not to send it off. But given the urgency, Stefan has already forwarded her photos to her press agency in France. It is too late. The photo is released, altering the lives of both Stefan and Omar. And those are what all the films are about. Now, of course, short film categories are notoriously difficult to predict, so what I'm going to try and predict, I could literally end up getting zero out of five right because no other award show really has a precursor that indicates what is probably going to be nominated. So I'm just going to base on my predictions on the films that I think voters may find the most compelling. Um, I think DeKalb Elementary may have a good chance because it's based on a true story and it deals with a very serious subject, a school shooting. And quite a lot of the nominees in this category are always films about very serious subject matter. Usually there might be one that's more lighthearted, but at least four of them are pretty serious. Um, Icebox sounds very interesting and I think could be nominated because it deals with illegal immigration. And of course that's a big deal right now. And actually just reading the plot description of it, it actually reminded me a lot of the scene in The Godfather Part Two, when the young Vito Corleone immigrates to America all by himself as a kid and we see him go through, you know, being on the ship to checking in with immigration officials, then we see him examined by a doctor and he's quarantined because he has smallpox. That's what this kind of reminds me of. Not exactly the same scenario, of course, but, you know, they both deal with a child coming to the United States all all by himself, and I assume that's the case here. Uh, my Nephew Emmett sounds like it could be a strong contender because, again, it's based on a true story. The murder of Emmett Till was one of the big events that uh, really helped kick off the civil rights movement. The Silent Child, that sounds very interesting. Just reading the plot summary, it sounds a lot like the real-life story of Helen Keller, who, of course, was famously both blind and deaf, and she had to be taught how to communicate by a teacher named Ann Sullivan. And of course, that story was turned into the film The Miracle Worker, in which both Anne Bancroft and Patty Duke won Oscars for their performances as Ann Sullivan and Helen Keller, respectively. Um, and given that this, too, is, it says it's based on a true story, that could make it all the more compelling for voters. And then finally, I think Witnesses will be the fifth nominee because every year there's always at least one short that seems to be about the ongoing conflicts in the Middle East and the lives of the people, especially the average ordinary citizen uh, living in one of those countries. And 
I remember there was a short film a few years ago called uh, Day One, in which uh, an American woman of Middle Eastern descent uh, is serving as a translator, and they go to confront this terrorist, and then things go crazy when the terrorist's wife, who's pregnant, goes into labor. Um, obviously, I don't think this film is going to be exactly like that, but like I said before, the stories of ordinary people living in the Middle East in the midst of all the conflicts going on there often seem to resonate with Academy voters because they kind of provide a window into their lives and help uh, break away stereotypes that are often formed about these people, you know, especially those who, even though they live in the Middle East, they're not part of any terrorist group, they're just regular people trying to live their lives and live in peace which just seems like what this film is about. So yeah, I think the five nominees, just based on my instinct right now, will be To Call Elementary, Icebox, My Nephew Emmett, The Silent Child, and Witnesses. Of course, I could end up being wrong, and the other five films I didn't mention could be the nominees instead, because like I said before, this category is very hard to predict, along with the animated and documentary shorts. But we'll see on January 23rd, once the Oscar nominations are officially unveiled. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you've seen any of these short films, please let me know in the comments section what you think of them. Also, please subscribe to my channel so you can get my newest videos as soon as they're uploaded. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!